do you think people can really benefit from, I mean, business people can benefit from technology? Tech is for everybody. And there's no way you can run away from tech right now. Okay. Because there's a lot of benefits for companies and individuals, maybe, in terms of data, how you manage your data yeah. is very important. Technology is going to help you do that. Yeah. In how you run your business processes, technology yeah. is going to help you do that. Yeah in how you attract customers to yourself. Technology is going to help you do that. So in this whole, you know, value chain that leads to how you make money, how you lose money, yeah. you need technology to run all these processes. Are you one of those struggling businesses or businessmen? I'm sure you need the advice you're going to get from this show. Because since the beginning of the year, particularly when there was a withdrawal of subsidy, there has been a difficulty with running businesses. Hundreds of businesses have closed. Thousands of people have been let go because there is no money. And some people have said, ICT is the way to go. Is ICT truly the way to go for small businesses and NGOs? If you run an NGO, then this show today is for you from Aquaya TV, where we deal with history, art, culture, and development. My name is Odo Diego Kenyodo, and today I have in the studio a very important person because all he has been doing has been about ICT. Uh, he has been doing a lot of others too, but uh, I think we, today we'll talk about his main love. He runs uh, a technology company called uh, Kazi Web, and they do a lot of things that I'm sure you will enjoy knowing about. But is this for you? I, I really want to know whether this is for you. Join me in welcoming Mr. Michael Uye of Kazi Web and also Third Base Technologies. You're welcome to Aquia TV, sir. Thanks a lot. How have you do, been doing how is business well you know technology business is a uh, quite a very fluid space to work in so uh there are high tides there are low tides so okay. what we do is we basically just try to stay above the tide and try to make things work okay for us okay staying above the tide yeah. so like Subsidy is not the removal of subsidy is not an issue for you. You are above that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Those are not things we, we talk about actually, yeah. uh, because I can stay here in here right here in this studio and uh, you know without leaving my space here yeah. and I'm working somewhere in maybe in Afghanistan or Iran or South Africa without even booking a flight ticket. So yeah. those kind of things don't really bother us. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this conversation stems from what you have done for our company uh, yeah. in terms of installing um, customer relationship management and mm -hmm. all of that. But of course, mm -hmm. not everybody is well versed in yeah. this subject. Mm -hmm. Do you think people can really benefit from, I mean, business people can benefit from technology? Because there are highs and lows of technology right mm -hmm. um, there are the issues of fraud mm -hmm. there are the issues of the know-how mm -hmm. people don't know how to run it people are afraid their data will be hacked mm -hmm. and they say some people say no tech is not for me <laughs> <laughs> well i want to put it to everybody out there that tech is for everybody and there's no way you can run away from tech right now Okay. Because there's a lot of benefits for companies and individuals, maybe, mm. th that they can benefit from using technology in their everyday lives or maybe in their businesses. Mm. Do you understand? Now, with uh, regards uh, cost savings and, mm. and uh, other things like, um, you know, uh, um, 
uh, being more proficient, more, more. Um, how would I like? How would I put it? Being more, being more productive and successful in yeah. you, in business, you have to apply technology. In terms of data, how you manage your data yeah. is very important. Technology is going to help you do that. Yeah in how you run your business processes technology yeah. is going to help you do that yeah. in how you attract customers to yourself technology yeah. is going to help you do that so in this whole you know value chain that leads to how you make money how you lose money yeah. you need technology to run all these processes you know from our own experience mm. earlier in the year when the issues of uh, first of all lack of money mm. um when there was a naira note the change in naira Crunch notes and all of that mm. we introduced a different kind of technology we started uh, working first three days a week mm. from and then two days working from home mm. now we do three days working from home mm. and two, two days, days in the months. office okay. and we were using whatsapp to uh, update our uh, activities and all of that and you've brought a CRM mm. and what's that? What is a CRM? Why is it important for people to have a CRM for their business? What's a CRM? Well, CRM simply stands for Customer Relationship Manager. That's actually a software that actually helps you okay. manage your business. It's actually like your front office and your admin office and your back office and your supply office on the internet and then but some anybody can have access to it not everybody can have access to it of course okay. you know for everything that is built for businesses or for for technology there are some level or there's a degree of access to even the stuff you have in in-house yeah. before you start now talking about uh unauthorized access and stuff like that yeah. so the 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 actually is some level of encryption mm. for all data that is being stored on servers worldwide so yeah. the issue of people being scared that ah they're going to hack or hack my data and stuff like that is really uncalled for because there, mm. there, there's a lot if not oh, cbn and all the banks would have you would have lost money from your bank accounts yeah, but that's because they are big. We, we are small. No, How, no, 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 no. A, the, a small the, NGO, like the ones listening to us <laughs> that we work with, small businesses, how can they afford the kind of security? security? You see, that's why you have to work with, you know, technology leaders in, in the industry to secure your data. Yeah. There are a lot of software and there are a lot of... Uh, big data companies that have subletted, you know, um, some space yeah. for you to host your whatever data that is important to you. Yeah. So like KaziWeb, when we started, we, we don't have any servers right here in Nigeria. We have hosted all our servers in Europe. Like, uh, sorry, we have hosted three servers in Europe mm -hmm. and we have a redundant in South Africa. Okay. So all our servers are away from where people are like okay let me say they are away from where they, they can be given access mm. to uninterrupted intrusions into those servers okay. so we work with companies that actually give us the best of encryption the mm. best uh, data centers yeah. where we host our our servers and then we as well host for our clients, like what we are doing for issue media. Yeah. Okay. So like, you know, from the solution that we have built for you, yeah. we have actually given you a virtual server, yeah. which is unlimited, where you can have all your files, all your voice, video conferencing, videos and everything. Okay, we can have video conferencing. Yes, all okay. that. For and free? So but you know we are building that mm -hmm. on a platform that is hosted on your server so you are not going to have to pay for making video calls anywhere okay within your network okay. that is with your remote uh, workers and the guys that are in the office okay. so actually yes that is free but what is what outside of the network if if, if i'm we are hosting a 
webinar or something. Yeah, but but that's that's still within your network. Oh, that's because, still within. Yes, okay. that's with, because you're going to use that platform, okay. and you all you have to do is send a link okay. to some other person that okay. is outside of your office and he can just log in just like zoom or whatever okay. uh whatever application that is being used to okay. to do that so other businesses can benefit from this sure they can how how do how do we assure ourselves as, i mean mm. i am asking all of these questions mm. not only on behalf of us but on mm. behalf of the many businesses out there that have been asking us these questions over the years mm. how do we assure of the longevity of this service that tomorrow mr michael Uye is not going to fold up or somebody's <laughs> not going to yeah kazi web as a whole is not going mm. to fold up mm. how are we sure of the longevity of the service well uh you know like in every business you yeah. know it's how well you manage your services and how well you manage your clients that's how that's that's how that what that that's what keeps you in business yeah. so we have built a couple of you know technology products yeah. that we have sold we have successfully sold to isu media yeah. right and uh, we are also working with partners where we have uh, dedicated internet access to our servers yeah. so you know that there's never going to be a time when you will type uh, isumedia.net.ng yeah. and you won't find you'll find that that uh, website is offline okay. from what maybe from pa a power cut or from an intrusion no yeah. that can happen so the only thing that is left for us now to do to ensure that this business becomes a successful business and grows over the years is for us to keep offering a uh, quality service to our customers mm -hmm. and that is what we are trying to do yeah. so most of the solutions we have deployed for you we are not resellers yeah. we built it ourselves okay and we are learning and we are evolving by the day with our relationship with our customers like mm -hmm. today we just finished a uh, training with you guys on how to use the customer service yeah. management and um, customer yeah. relationship management yeah. and we got our take back homes from you yeah. and you told us what we needed to do to make it better yeah. so we are going to implement that and we hope that that will make you stay yeah. and when you stay and you're making money we are going to make money as well. Yeah. So that's that's the relationship we want to have to, with our customers. Okay. You understand? If we don't give quality service, yes, of course, the business will eventually die off. Okay. Um, I want to talk about businesses mm. that they are not ICT, they are not literate in technology. What should be their first entry point into say digitizing their services or digitizing their processes what should be their entry point you see um i think i was having a conversation with you a while ago mm. um the entry point for every business right now globally is to have a website okay even if you are selling crayfish or maybe you are a block industry you yeah. need a website you understand because number like one that's pure water guy i saw in calabar that say it's online business <laughs> <laughs> that's his own online presence yeah. do you understand now he had a pos quite by the way that's why he said it was online business. yeah so it, your website is actually the gateway to you via the internet mm. so if you have a website you have a web address and people can reach you at that web address yeah. and they can see what services you're offering mm. so once people see that service you're offering it's most likely that you're going to get more customers being attracted to your business okay. now if you have a website for example if i when i like i travel a lot yeah, yeah. so when i land to a new country and i'm looking for a service probably maybe i'm looking for a hotel yeah. the first thing i do is i go on google okay right now we are here in isu media studio in uh, i mean acquire tv studio in uh, guarimpa yeah. i'll type hotels near this yeah. place so if a hotel that is here around this area yeah. is not online i won't find them yeah 
But if they have a website and they're online, I'll find them. Yeah. So that opens opportunities up for you if you, uh, you know, right. own right. a website, so, which is the very first step. Okay. Now, if you look at most of the websites, um, most of these small businesses run in Nigeria, they're underutilized. Yeah. They just set up the website and boom, that's it. They pay domain name registration and uh, uh, web hosting and emails and to just show my name at uh, socialbusiness.com to yeah. show ah, we are professional people. Yeah. And it stops there. But then, if you are running most websites now, yes, uh, built using wordpress yeah okay so now most of our applications are built on the word pla uh, wordpress platforms like plugins mm. so with that wordpress website you can have an accounting plugin you can have a hr plugin okay. you can have a crm plugin now these are add-ons that you can use to make your website more profitable yeah. instead of using that website for just information purposes mm. you are using that website to fill in staffing problems okay. that you that your small businesses might be encountering apart from that you could be using that website to sell okay so there's okay. so many things that you know all right all right we'll be coming back to you um, with this conversation about how uh, the government can aid these processes we're talking about, um, particularly the Bedouin state government and the federal government. Uh, the, Mr. Uye is going to tell us his perspectives on what the government can do and what their policies are. Don't go away. If you're watching us on NTA Makodi, please go online and um, on Aquea TV uh, YouTube channel, you find us and please share this video. If you are watching us on YouTube, do like and subscribe and share. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Hi, my name is Felicia Oluwale and I am the host of The Fifth Tested Show, which is every Friday at 7 p.m. on Facebook at Jisoo Media. So if you're passionate about development reportage, this show is definitely for you. And this is a formal invitation for you to come and watch. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing the videos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This conversation continues for those of you who have been eagerly waiting for how governments should be able to support the introduction of ICT into business, uh, into the functioning of your NGOs. Mr. Uye has a lot of ideas and I want to ask him those questions right away. So from Kazi Web, mm -hmm. what do you think government should do uh, either at the state level or at the federal level? to support the introduction of ICT so that small businesses don't die and uh, NGOs can keep running. Yeah, you see, um, when conversations like this come up, we always have to take our cue from what happens in the West and what is happening in China okay. and what, happen what is happening in India. Because if you see the technological powerhouses yeah. in the world right now, is tilting towards India and China. Mm. Though That's most finished tilting actually. Well, we can't say it's finished because you know most of the big techs that is coming out, most of the innovative technology that is coming out is still from the US. The AI revolution has started from the US and it's actually I thought the, China had been using them on low key but not making the noise well anyway. Well, you, you it's, it, it's who speaks about it that's the person we know. If you keep something under your bed, we won't know about it. Okay. So I will give it to the U.S. guys. They are okay. the guys innovating technology. Yeah. And um, basically, the way the American economy runs that I know of, mm. most of the guys that are making stuff out there mm. and making it big are getting support from the government yeah. in terms of subsidies, okay. in terms of low interest loans. Okay. These are things that help businesses thrive. Okay, so now when you're coming to tech, how are you going to enable people acquire? Because, you know, really transition into tech is not really easy okay. per se, but it's easy and it's not that expensive like most people would think. Our only bottlenecks in Nigeria will be power. Okay. Yeah. So if we have regular power supply, because um, thank God the internet 
uh, sorry, the GSM revolution came to Nigeria. Everybody has access to mobile phones now. Yeah. So even if you can't afford a laptop, at least some people have phones now. Yeah. So uh, when you have fully charged the phone, mm. the issue of power, like somebody sends you an email now and uh, he went to your website and you need to make an order and he, you know, you can just get your orders on the phone. Mm. So that has actually helped and it's going to go a long way if these policies are going to be uh you know sustained yeah. but encouraging people to take up tech like the young ones yeah. now we don't really need to encourage them anymore because they have already taken it up though yeah. the dark side yeah the yahoo yahoo they, yeah. that, that's tech yeah. but you know because we have this in this craze of making it quick in nigeria mm. everybody goes dark yeah so we need more government uh, orientation to orient you know to give the youth orientation that you really can't do something with your life without going dark and this is where the issue of this training that the benister government talked about the ten thousand youths on tech yeah. skills and all that that will go a long way in opening up you know the the, the value chain or let me say the 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 race yeah. for technology for adopting technology yeah. for these businesses and the kids yeah. you know that are growing up in Benue. like i always like making reference to myself when i discover technology yeah. like uh, probably when I, I think i was about 19 or 20 there about yeah. when it was yahoo 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 mm. yahoo not this Yahoo Yahoo boys, of course. Yeah. Okay, everybody was like, what's what's Yahoo? Do you Yahoo? Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, so what is Yahoo? Everybody was like, okay, this is like the gateway to the internet. Mm -hmm. If you get to Yahoo, you can get anything on the internet you're looking for. Sort of how go this is what Google picked okay. on and developed and, you know, surpassed what Yahoo. Actually, Google put an end to Yahoo. Yeah. So, uh, in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is, you know, when we discovered technology, it was our own, you know, enthusiasm and passion to really get to know about this that drove us to where we are now. Yeah. We didn't get any support from the government. It was through all our grit and all our hard work that yeah. we have continued to press on to this very day so if government is going to you know go out there and open up opportunities by training the youths free like they say mm. it's going to open up a whole lot of doors and before you know it it the whole technological landscape in Benue state can you know the other thing is access to funds you can't do anything without funding so how can government open up funding to small businesses to make them you know have access to probably mitigate issues like uh, solar i mean uh, power shortages by uh, acquiring solar panels for their business and all that yeah. so government policies in terms of funding is very key yeah. that is what is going to really make uh, change the narrative for uh, how things are done okay in terms of uh, uh adopting technology in nigeria all right mm. thank you very much i think um just before we go because mm. i know you 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 are really a busy man yeah um so, just yeah. before we go <laughs> i'd like you to just tell us finally mm. what we can do um if if i'm a, an ngo looking at you now taking advantage of things like the ai how because people are afraid that AI is making us less human and all of that. Uh, and generally tech is making us less human. What would be your advice? You know, your, your final words, so to speak. Well, I would like to tell these people that if you adopt AI, mm -hmm. you're saving money. You're okay. saving yourself a lot of stress. Okay. Now, in Nigeria, most of our money is used in buying petrol yeah. not even feeding yeah. so if uh, you have a small business that uh, has a lot of staffing with ai you can reduce your staff strength maybe you had as your business is growing 
you definitely need to add more hands to the business yeah. if there's an ngo person listening to us now i know there are so many of them uh, or small businesses what would be your final advice about how they can use the low hanging fruits to get into uh, ICT to help their businesses with the rise of AI and other tech? Okay, for me, I would, uh, I would say this to these people. If you already own a website, don't leave that website underutilized. Put some add-ons on it, like, you know, most websites that we have running around or being put on the internet these days are being built by WordPress. So WordPress is a cheap and easy way to have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of hardware run under a hundred dollars. Okay. So hundred dollars are like hundred thousand naira. Yes. Okay. And uh, 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 if you're going to have uh, a, a, a full HR system, yeah. built from scratch using PHP or other programming languages to put it on the internet, you're probably going to spend nothing less than $10,000. Okay. But if you're going to adopt WordPress plugins, which is like what we have put up for you, yeah. you can do that with $120 okay. a year, a okay. year. And this could have you cost savings of not less than $6 million a year whoa so that's like spending one hundred and twenty thousand naira a year to save six million wow how are you going to do this mm -hmm. if your business is one that is scaling up in terms of services and everything yeah. that means you have to add more hands yeah. but with adopting these sets of technologies you yeah. don't need to add more hands you only need to use those software that we have built to be able to help the current staff strength you have yeah. run these businesses for you and still stay profitable, stay efficient yeah. and have cost savings by adding in more hands to the yeah. business. So adopting technology shouldn't be anything that uh, businesses should be scared of. They should adopt it in order to save money across their production line. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's really a pleasure. We've been talking with uh, Mr. Michael Uye of Kazi Web, he has given us so many tips and as a satisfied customer, I'm very glad that we can at least focus on the media, the production, the communication while software are taking care of accounting and um, human resources. So if you want to join us, please join us. Um, whatever. Um, Questions you have, please put them in the comment section if you are watching us on YouTube. But if you are not on YouTube and you are watching us on NTA Makodi, please hop online, youtube.com forward slash Aquea TV. You'll find us there. And from time to time, if you want to play, join us on TikTok. We've got some very interesting artistic angles for you on TikTok. Do find us there. We're also at Aquea TV everywhere. And then our website, AquaiaTV.com is available. Thank you so much for keeping up with us. And those of you who have shared our views and our subscribers shared all of this. Thank you. Nothing else we can say, but thank you. I really appreciate. There are going to be prizes to be won. Uh, just keep in touch with our Facebook and other social media platforms. We'll be all this together.